<laughs> okay. So, uh, Emily, there's two types of questions that are typically asked for a simultaneous reaction. One is typically asked, what's the intermediates? The second, and intermediate would be anything that's down here that you don't see in the overall. Uh, the second type is, what's all the multipliers on these reactions that allow it to add up to the overall? Uh, so, the uh, intermediates is a really easy one to do. Let's just look at what we don't see up there. So, Fe2O3, for example, is one intermediate. Uh, is there anything else? Any other intermediates? This one. It has to be an immediate also. That's the only two I see right now. Okay, so now to solve the problem as far as the multipliers, what I do is find little cute symbols that you can uh, mark your overall that, uh, that you can also mark down here in your simultaneous. So here's one, the Fe3O4. So I'll circle those. Uh, I've also got the CO. I'll double underline the CO right here, and here, and here. I've also got the FEO. Uh, I'll put a squiggly underline under the FEO, and that's, I guess, only here. And then I've got the CO2. I'll put a box around the CO2. And that's here, and here, and here. Those things that have a mark by them must remain in the reaction. They're not intermediates. Everything not marked is an intermediate. So let's go through these first and see if I can get a multiplier for every reaction. Yeah. Would it always give you the overall reaction? The overall reaction uh, can often be given, but it doesn't have to. Like there's another, I could have said something like, uh, you start with reactants Fe3O4, and you must make the product uh, ferrous oxide. <coughs> and so it could say it in that way in words. Okay, so let's continue. Let's start with this one. It appears right here, but I need, I need one in the reactant. I unfortunately have two in the products. So I have to fix this reaction by multiplying by negative to flip it into the reactants and then one half to make sure there's one Fe3O4. Okay, next, let's go. I'm gonna skip the CO, because it's too hard, there's too many of them. See how there's CO here and here and here? It's too hard. I'm also gonna skip CO2 for the same reason. I just want stuff that appear maybe only once down here. FeO is a great example of that. It appears right down here in the third reaction. I want three in the products, but I only have one in the reactants. So I'm going to multiply this last one by minus 3. So that'll flip it and put 3 in the products. So far so good? Now notice the second and third reaction have a multiplier. So they're done. Once it has a multiplier, you're done with that reaction. The only one left is the top reaction, really. So the top one I can do in a couple different ways. Uh, you can either... Take a look at one of the COs and make sure it adds up to one in the reactants. I just don't kind of like that too much because there's so many of them. There's so much addition to do. But that's one option. Another option is to look at one of the intermediates and make it cancel. So you can go either way. I'll just pick the intermediate way. If you want me to explain the other way, the first, the former way, I, I can do that also. Uh, so one option to get the multiplier on the top reaction it's to look at an intermediate. Here's one. I'll put a triangle around it. I have to have this ferric oxide cancel because it's an intermediate. It must cancel. So far, I have locked down minus three halves here in the reactants. So if I put minus three halves of the ferric oxide in the products in the top reaction, I've got all three reactions locked down. So I'm, I'm done with that part. I have all my multipliers. Does that kind of make sense? Anything you want me to re-explain? Or anybody? 